Hi everybody, it's time to move Grease now and our babies. We've got it big enough. But the thing is, unlike with Pika, Grisna is big. She's a really big female because she's half English Angora. And she took after the size of the English Angora. So she needs more space. Um, now, one could argue Pika also needed more space. But because she was smaller, it was more... Not okay, but more serviceable. Um, but for Grisna, uh, just the one cage would be really not enough. So what I did is I took off the wall from this cage. It's over there now. And I tied the other cage with it to it using some copper wires. Um, and you might notice I have a water bowl there. There, along with the one below. Krizna drinks a lot. So I wanted to give her extra water sources. But she's a little bit of a dum-dum. She doesn't tend to use the water balls that are higher. Um, and the babies wouldn't be able to reach the higher ones anyways. So I still need to put one on the floor. Now, hopefully she'll use the ones higher. If not, I'll have to put uh, on the floor ones in the other cage. But, babies are ready. They're ready to not have a nest anymore. They started jumping out. So, it's time. Show us your little face. Oh yes, you're so cute. They're gonna go on this side because of the mesh floor. My little red eye white. Still too early to tell if it's an Angora, but it's sweet. Floppy ears too. There we go. You're jealous? Okay. This one wants to go. Here we have Opal. Right? Yeah, that's an Opal. It looks brown because of the light, but if I come next to natural light you'll see it's a lot more blue uh, so this is one of the opals there you go hello baby broken chestnut they started changing color now they're taking their real colors yeah hello this is the only single main, if you remember. Broken opal. Yeah, broken, yeah. Hello. Now this one I had to check every day. That eye, you may notice, is not as open as the eye on the other side. It kept getting closed shut. And this is part of the reasons why you need to check the babies daily. Because if somehow their eye gets irritated and they get gunk that keeps the fur together and makes them unable to open their eyes, um, they can develop eye infections. So it's really important to check daily. Um, and if there's an issue, check multiple times a day to make sure to keep the eye open once they have opened them um, so that they don't end up with an eye infection. Um, I had to reopen the eye on the lilac one oh, for at least a week time, like multiple times a day. And there was one time where I had to get my red eye, one of her eye got closed. So... But that only lasted a day for this one. So it shows you how important it is to check the babies every day since birth. Because many, many little things can happen. And once they do, they can they quickly get worse. So, uh, yeah. Now, I don't like that the door is like that. But I would have to use some pliers to remove the door. And at the same time... I'll remove it if it's an issue. Uh, if it's not an issue, it can stay. But if it's an issue, I'm going to remove it. I just didn't want to get the pliers right now. 
So yeah, food in the litter box, water, babies are going to be mostly on this side. Grisna is going to get to hop around between sides. She has the water on the other side too. So Grisna is going to have more room. Nothing is with her. I'm going to have to keep the lid open because she's going to escape otherwise. But more space. Babies will get comfy, pile up in a corner. And uh, they'll be right next to me. So I'll be able to socialize them a lot. Make sure they, they grow healthy and happy and have everything they need. Some bunnies happy to eat. Um, so that's that. That's the result for today. Um, I had a really, really hectic week. week. Um, sorry, I can't speak today. Uh, I had a really hectic week, um, a few appointments that didn't turn out the way I hoped they would, and uh, basically, I'm basically warring against my doctor at this point, because he doesn't believe in fibromyalgia and the chronic fatigue syndrome, and it's making it harder and harder to get financial aid, um, so... Because instead of saying, no, no, she's unable to work because she spends more than half every other day in bed. Um, he just says, she's not really sick. She thinks she's sick. <sighs> Even though I have an official diagnostic now. But he doesn't believe in it. So not being very helpful there, is he? Um, so it's kind of frustrating and uh, basically like I came back Monday so tired I slept all the way till Wednesday morning didn't even get up um, at all so Tuesday just disappeared and um, Wednesday I was so tired I had I was driving and falling asleep when coming back from Montreal I actually had to stop at my friend's place and nap for three hours because I couldn't make it to my home and uh, drive after that to get home. And when I got home, I went to bed, but then I had uh, my psychiatrist appointment the next morning. So I was extremely tired and I fell asleep in his waiting room. And um, you know what? He gets it because... He said it was the first time that anyone actually truly fell asleep in his waiting room. Like he had people snooze before, but never someone fall asleep and become unresponsive because they were deep asleep. Um, and he, he, and then afterwards he made a comparison to an electric car with a bad battery. Um, when it's running, it's running great, but the battery drains really fast and then it's really slow to charge. That's me. <laughs> That's exactly it. So, uh, yeah, he gets it. Why is it so hard to get my doctor to understand? And if my doctor was more on my side, it would be a lot easier to convince the financial aid people. But because he's not, it's getting harder and harder. And it's just... Tell me I can actually work a normal job like everyone when I end up sleeping more than 30 hours at a time if there's an activity that drains me too much one day. How is that functional? Anyways, um, I'm just a little bit frustrated because of all that. Um, but I finally put... The advertisement for the baby bunnies, uh, the ones, the peak house babies, uh, they're finally for sale and uh, we'll see how well they sell. Hopefully I get a few customers because they're so sociable and curious. As long as I get people, I'm sure they're going to sell really easily. I just need to get people and it's been a long time since I sell bunnies so I don't know the state of the market at the moment. I didn't even change my prices. They're the same prices I always did. Um, but I, everything's just a little bit out of whack financially, and I just not comfortable with raising my prices. And 
So I'm just, I'm going to keep the prices I'm comfortable with and go with that. Um, now the babies are a little bit, like they're barely able to be out of the nest now. Um, they technically should still be in a nest, so I'm going to pop them in the litter box probably. Um, but they started jumping out of it today, so they're fine to uh, be out now. And um, yeah, that's the news right now. I hope everybody has a nice day. And uh, I'm going to try to recuperate the next couple days. I've got another appointment on Monday. And um, we'll see how things go. Bye-bye, everybody.